Hi everyone, this is Jody. Welcome back to my channel. And I was just uh, going through some of my uh, journals that I had up on my shelf and I realized I never did a, well at least I couldn't find on my own channel where I did a flip through of this uh, altered Betty Crocker vintage book. Um, that I made into a junk journal style. So we're going to flip through it now and I'm going to get it listed on my Etsy store. So, cause I thought, well, you know, Christmas is coming and maybe someone would want this for, um, and, you know, make a birthday or not a birthday, but Christmas or a birthday coming up or something. Um, it's just beautiful. I love it. So let's take a look at it. So this is a, a vintage Betty Crocker, um, five ring binder. And this image here, is from an old oh like a cookbook pamphlet and it was called favorite recipes for country kitchens so i just loved how the family is coming up from the farm and she's ringing the dinner bell you know with a daughter and you know dinner's ready so i just thought this was really a great like country iconic image and what i did is I wrapped it around and you can see here this was like where the staple was in this booklet right here and right here but this has all been sealed with Mod Podge and it's really cool because like the there's like a little part here where the pamphlet was had a little tear in it um, and then I wrapped it around the spine here so and then I adorned it with some really big uh, red rickrack so let's take a look at this journal and uh, our cookbook so <clears throat> I redid the end papers <coughs> excuse me I redid the end papers and in in a vintage cookbook I saw these um, images of like all these kitchen tools and some vintage look at those um, like scotch plaid um, metal picnic baskets I remember those um, so then what I did is I took a clear like photo album pocket and I put on here so you have a little pocket and then this is just a journaling card and this is just a um, an image where you take like a ball of dough and you like you rub it between your hands to make a cookie and then here's just some of the like tissue paper from a sewing packet and so this is just on here and then this is a journaling card behind it. And actually what this is, is 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 a paint. It's one of those paint cards. And look at the name of it. it says Country White. So I just love that. It goes with the, the cookbook theme. So um, here's like the page turner thing. So then here is a beautiful image of a retro um, girl with, and I'm not sure, oh, you know what, I think this is a pool stick, and she's putting on the chalk on top of the pool stick, and I just thought this was a really neat image, and then behind it, um, I collaged some, again, some sewing tissue paper, and then here's a little, uh, fabric cherry tab, so I know this is going to be a little bit back and forth, because I have lots of flip outs, um, uh, you know in this book so actually I just need to put something heavy on here real quick okay so this flips out and uh, this is um, scrap a uh, scrap paper uh, cardstock so this is a heavier cardstock it's not paper and so here is a strawberry um, a vintage recipe card and so I tucked that in there and then this is a image from, let me see if I can zoom just a little closer for you. Okay. Uh, this is just a little image. Um, Buttles Best So Pure and White Cook Reserves It With Delight. So it's a, uh, a brand of flour uh, back in the old days, I guess. And so this is pockets. Here's some sewing. I left lots of string hanging. So let me go back to this side. And so here I sewed on a really old vintage, uh, I believe it's Betty Crocker. Yes, Betty Crocker step-by-step -step recipes. These cards are so cool. Um, so I made like a pocket out of it here and I sewed it around here. And then this one, I gotta move the book back over. This one has another flip out. So 
this is a book page of an old barn and I believe it was in Birds and Bloom book or Country Woman. It was one of, you know, one of their books, magazines. And so um, I put just, you know, I collaged just a little bit of red flower print fabric here because it, it matches like these little poppies down here. And then this is um, a vintage book page out of a recipe book that shows you the different apples. And um, of course, what do you think of when you, you know, you're on a farm is like apples, apple pie. So I thought that was really cute. And then I did the edge um, with some sewing with some beautiful uh, fabric, vintage fabric. Okay, so now back to the inside on this page. Um, here's the inside. And so here is a, a little uh, cutout, and I made a little tuck spot here. This is Frosty Glasses. It says pour a quarter cup of fruit juice, lemon, orange, grape, or cranberry into a shallow bowl. Place a quarter cup of granulated sugar on a piece of wax paper. Hold each glass at the bottom. Dip the rim of of the glass into the fruit juice, then into the sugar. Set the glasses upright in the refrigerator and chill for half hour until sugar frosts dries. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, so it's just little tips that I cut out and, and backed it onto some cardstock or file folders. I think this is cardstock. And then here is just, a, um, you know, I don't always like my cards like straight. So here is like an overlapping one. And it just kind of gives it a unique look and it's, you know, at an angle. This is cinnamon apples and it kind of matches the apples here. So this is just a recipe. I love the, the pink page 155 on there. And then I put an apple sticker and, and here's the back where you can make a note or add another recipe. But that was cute. All right, I'm going to slide it back over. Okay, so um, what I did is I kept all of the original tabbed pages of this cookbook and what I did is behind this is basically all of the writing that tells you like what recipes on what page well you know I you know we're making our own pages so I really didn't need the index on there anymore so what I decided to do was use this but then I made a pocket uh, you know in the beginning of each one of these and then I took a little snippet from a vintage recipe book and just kind of put it there in the corner. So again, here's a little bit that's left here, but I didn't want to cover it. You can do that if you would like. You know, um, you can take a piece of fabric and go over it or um, cardstock or something really pretty to go over here and write some notes or something. So then we have um, another one here. So this is like one uh, like a double page. So here I took some vintage. This is a pocket. But I took a page out of a vintage typewriting style, uh, like a church book, and it's all typewriter. I just love that look, and it's on a yellow, pretty paper. And I used some watermelon washi back here. So then here is plenty of space to like glue on or tape on your recipes or pictures of recipes. Here's a little sticker of a bowl. And then on this side, I made a big old pocket up here. So um, you can stick more recipes and tuck things in there. And here's a pocket here. Actually, let me grab a, um, a card so that we can see what it is exactly. Hold on. Okay, so I mean, I'm just gonna grab a card so I can show you where all the pockets are. So there's a pocket here and a pocket here. All right, and then um, again, here is another one of these. So here's a pocket. This one has an open side. Uh, so if you have something larger you want to put in and just tuck in. Then I put in a vintage, uh, what do you call those? Uh, view masters. So I put that there. Okay, and then on this one here is another one, but it flips out instead of in. So let's move this over. So here I took a lot of vintage um, pictures of vintage items that were out of magazines or book pages and I made like little um, recipe card spots here so there's two of them aren't these darling I love these colors and then you flip it open 
And here is a, a tabbed card that you can put in here, another recipe. Here's a vintage picture of a recipe of banana cream pie. Doesn't that look good? And so this is a pocket here that lifts out. So I'll make sure I'm in frame here. And then here is, um, I put a little die cut of a sundae here that you can put a little recipe on if you want. And then here's another little, just an image from a vintage uh, recipe book. And then this is lemon uh, cardstock. Okay, so then that flips back out. And so on the back side, again, is another one of those Betty Crocker step-by-step -step recipes. And I just love the pink. This is pink peppermint souffle on this page. Just looks really cute. So here's some more room. Okay, then we have pastry and pies. Again, I made another pocket. So these are all images from this book or other uh, cookbooks that are that were um, older. And then again, here is a little uh, freshen up with Seven Up. It's an old um, little advertisement for Seven Up from like a magazine. So I put that up in the corner. I can't remember what I'm covering, but there's something here that I'm covering that I thought this would be better looking. I don't remember what it was now. So here's the back of that. Okay, then we have another flip page. So let me move this over. So this one is the pink striped paper. Here I put an old mobile gas uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's just an image from one of the uh, magazines, but it's a gas station pump. And so here I just uh, stamped um, recipe from the kitchen of. It's kind of a really faint, <clears throat> it's a kind of a really faint stamp on that one, but it's really pretty. Uh, so it's just a tuck spot that you can tuck, you know, some recipes in. Here's another uh, die cut. And I put part of a recipe image on there so they could tuck down there. And then let's slide it back over so that you can see the back side. So the back side has all of these like images of words. And then I made a little paper sack here. Oh no, I didn't make this one. I'm sorry. Um, this came in a, a treat bag set. Uh, so I didn't make this one. Um, so I glued this on and here's a little bit of fabric behind it. And then here is a a dolly dimple ready mixed flower old vintage um, advertisement and then here is a sarasota flower uh boy do like a doughboy uh picture and i cut it out and fussy cut it out and put it onto cardstock so you can you know jot a little recipe down on there and he tucks he tucks right into that flower sack like so i just thought that was really cute all right now I did a different type of a pocket here. I did an angled pocket. Again, this is what we're covering up is this because we really didn't need to see it. So I thought it would be fun to do a pocket. And again, here's another little um, recipe image of some cookware. Okay, this one flips out this way. So we have two more pockets again here and here. And here is another little flip, um, a flip out or a tuck spot. Sorry, geez, I'm just jumbling my words today. So this is the original Lincoln Logs um, toys from, mm, I'm not sure what age, you know, what year. don't know if I can really see the words on there without looking at it really close, but it's really old Lincoln Log sets for kids. So I made that into another little tuck spot that you can tuck a recipe in there. Here's another um, one of those typed out recipes and it's blue colored it's whipped cream frosting for angel food cake and here's a little bit of fabric back at, you know in the back of it collaged okay so now we'll s flip to the outside of that page so I made a little fabric whoops I made a little fabric tab here on the outside so that's what you see here and then I made another tuck spot with these really old vintage spoons and I put a ribbon in this way so that's another tuck spot Okay, so let's open that back up. Okay, now um, here is another pocket, a corner pocket. This one I just did a little bit of an edging on it. It's a pretty desserts. And here's another advertisement, the Ad Adventures of Sarasota Flower. Strawberry shortcake picture on this side. 
So this one here, again, is another big flip out. So let's look at the front first. So here is a clear pocket from, you know, like a photo album. So you can put, whoops, you can put um, a recipe card here in front. So this is clear. But then I thought, well, when nothing is in it, you, you could see something really neat in the back. And here's a vintage a dinner like recipe or not a recipe um, like a menu so then there's a pocket here and then here I put in um, this is kind of like one of those postcard vintage postcards and so I just cut it there and so basically you can make this a recipe card why not right okay and then you flip it out I think this is one of my favorite pages of the journal or of the book so here's some more of those clear pockets here. And then I put this book page of a vintage book. It's apple juice, apple herb jelly, and cider gelatin salad. And it's really nice and pink. I love this color. So I put that there. So you can put um, you know, a recipe card this way or that way. I just left it up and down. And then on this one, um, it's this little boy, he's shrugging, and it says, and sh so the, the, it was a book page, and then the, of course the other side of the book page was here. It might be in, in this book yet, but, um, you know, you can say many things without using a word. You can nod your head to say yes, shake your head to say no, wink an eye to say I'm, I'm kidding, and shrug your shoulders to say I don't know. With a finger in front of your lips, you can say, shh, don't make a sound. And when you make an O with your fingers, you're saying very good. <laughs> so I just thought that was really cool. Those are in, a ch I believe it's a child craft. I'm trying to see if I can see it from here. Yes, it's a child craft book. So I just love those, um, the child craft books. Get that back in there. There we go. So they're just really neat sayings and stuff in there. So then, the, of course, again, like I said, the page opens out. We've seen this side, so now we're going to look at this side. So here's another clear pocket that um, you can put a recipe card here in front. And I included this old vintage car. And then a meal menu here. And then, of course, there is another little recipe card with um, this little cutout of, looks like, some pink lemonade. And then I stamped on this recipe on the back that you can uh, fill out. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, now here's just a little card. Um, this came out of um, the Salad Master utensil book. And it's just a piece of ephemera, so I, I um, you know, poked the holes in it and put it in here, and you can use it for whatever. Okay, here's another one, soups and salads. Again, I did a different kind of a cut here and edging and put on another one of those images. Here's a chicken laying in a fry pan. And then uh, the next one, it flips out this way. So we'll take a look at it this way. So this is, oh, this is another fun one I love. So this is from an old encyclopedia. And it's a vintage airline stewardess's uh, wear that they used to wear. And it talks about their job and stuff. And so then here's a little recipe card here that I stamped on and tuck in. And actually this one says appetizers and sandwiches. And then here is a little Kellogg's bear. This, this is a tuck spot. Whoops. So this is a little tuck spot here to put a recipe and then just a little bit of lace uh, fabric or lace there. Okay, so let's move this over. All right, so we have again some more vintage book pages and here's a, a big old recipe card and um, so there's two more pockets here. Okay, so that closes up. Okay, here's another pocket here with a menu with a cow there. So then uh, this one folds out also. So let me move that over. So this one's got some of that red fabric with a blue like flower. 
Here's some typing recipe page, again, like from a church book. And here's just a, a cutout cow that I thought was really cool to go along with a farm theme. And then this is another pocket here on this side. How to boil. <laughs> and then here's some more fabric uh, edging on here. Actually, this is like upholstery fa fabric. Okay, now here is the inside of that flip. So here is just another uh, recipe journaling card. You are the very best. It's cute. And this is a pocket as well. And then this is a another vintage uh, recipe page that's glued down, you know, as a background. And so here's your pocket. Okay. And so now we're on to the next one. So here's another pocket. And here's, look at that, an old TV dinner. Um, like a vintage ad for TV dinners. I remember those. <laughs> so here is another one that flips out. I mean, I have a lot. So there's like really a lot of pages in this and lots of room to fill it up. So here is another little card that you can write a recipe on. Here's a Mr. Barbecue right there. There's a little stamp. Okay, this is a tuck spot. So you, there's actually two. So you can put a recipe card up above and a recipe card below on that one, okay? Here's some spoons. And this is a clear pocket. And then, oh, th maybe this might be my favorite. <laughs> So on the other side of that is, um, I believe this is the work basket. Yes, the work basket, uh, little, mm, I think you consider it a magazine. It's a pamphlet like, I love the images in it. So here's a little girl and some mom dresses. Um, look at that, add five cents for each pattern if you wish first class mailing. <laughs> so um, these were really cool. So here is, um, Another little recipe card I just kind of, you know, kind of collaged on it. And then there's a recipe on the back there. And then there's another pocket up here for another recipe card there. All right. Another page here with a pocket. Here's Magnolia Gasoline here. So here is another folded pocket or page. So this one here has a belly band, and then here is a recipe. Here's an old Tiffany, um, like a light hanging over your dining room table, and here's part of a like a glass jar you could see. So it's just like a just like a recipe card you could use, and then again it has um, again it has another one of those Betty Crocker step by step recipes, and this is kind of a yellow and gold colored apple cider salad. I just thought it was pretty with this. So then on the inside, if you can see, there's a pocket here. There's a little bit of um, like uh, embroidered fabric here. And then you can see that I did it this way on the inside. And here's another one of those cards. So here is just an old vintage. It's part of a dinner. You can see this casserole or something here. So I just did some rip, or a little bit of lace on it and uh, did a light stamping of recipe on the back there. Okay, and then we're on to meats. Here's a cow and a cowboy. All right, and then this one again folds out. So here's some two vintage magazine pages. Here's an old kitchen with a family. And then here is uh, forks and knives out of that child craft book. I think it's how to eat. So here's some more fabric here and this is kind of like a raised polka dot fabric. And then on this side, um, I love this paper. Here is, I made a tuck spot out of these three uh, Gregory Peck, Audrey um, Hepburn old books. Here's uh, 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea and the Bandwagon. These were just some old images. So I just made a tuck spot with a little stamp on this one that says breads. And um, so you can, the whole thing is a tuck spot, like a side pocket. Okay. And then we have vegetables. And here's a little advertisement of Marge's Little Lulu. <laughs> okay. Whoops. I just want to make sure I'm still in frame here. <clears throat> and then here is another one. <clears throat> 
This is, I believe, Childcraft. Um, no, not Childcraft. Um, <clears throat> it is, I believe, yes, it's Popular Mechanics Home Handyman. I'm looking at my bookshelf. <laughs> so it's one of those. So it's a, a dad teaching a kid. You know, he's taking something apart here. Maybe this fan. I don't know. Yep, the fan. And here's the refrigerator. So it was part of a kitchen view. So there's a big pocket here. Okay. And then there's a pocket up here with a little um, little tablet of paper with some uh, brown polka dot that I sewed on. So it's a little tablet of paper that you can write a bunch of recipes on sticking out the top there. And then again, this is another one of those um, extended pages. So when you open it up, it has a flip here of a clear pocket. And again, there is a recipe card here and then you can see the recipe behind it so it's the old uh, stamping okay and here's some strawberry washi tape that I used and some watermelon washi tape and then on the back is the same thing so it's another pocket back here Oops. okay open it up <laughs> there we go Oops, sorry. So I'm off camera here. So here, it's another pocket. And then this one has a mixer with a Boston cream pie on this side. I'm sorry, I'm probably off frame because this one's so long, I'm opening it up three times here. And then there is another pocket down here. So this one opens up like three times. Like that and like that. Okay. Or no, did I have it on this side? Yep, I had it on this side. I'm sorry. No. Did I have it on this side? Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, so many ways to open things. And then here is another book page. Um, and I just thought this was really cool. It has the table of weights and measures. And um, so I just hinged it on here and with glue, um, with washi tape. And then on the back side, this is the name of it, Metropolitan Cookbook, because the where it's from. Okay. So here we go. Where are we at? 27 minutes. So here's another pocket and here's some a vintage Silly Putty advertisement. Okay, and then here is another flip out. So I did some collage and I made a pocket with some sewing here. And here is a vintage Rick Rack that I put a little apple on it. And I made a little pocket, and here is Mother Hubbard, <laughs> the fairies in story. So it's a really cute little card that you can jot a little recipe down or a memory. Then there's a pocket back here. So here's another little card you can stick a recipe on. And then this folds out. So this is the other page. So on this side is another big... Um, uh, book, book page that had a tomato on it and I love that and then you take this out of the pocket and here's just a little vintage like I'm not sure what that is it's like a doll uh, on a I'm, I'm not sure and then a little flower here and um, bread just trying to remember what that's from I think that's from this advertising pages of all these flour and stuff like that so and then that kind of just hangs out there and so on the inside of it is uh, two more pockets. And again, here's another one of those little pads of paper that you can write all kinds of recipes on. I did a little bit of sewing here with a piece of fabric. And then there is, where's my little card? Another pocket up here that you can stow away something. Okay, and now we're back over here. So this one is a big envelope. The last page is a big envelope. So on this envelope, of course you have an envelope, and I put this TV, vintage TV on it. So then here is another pocket, and I just did a little pad of paper that you can j um, jot some notes down or whatever, and I put a little ribbon through it. So there's a pocket there. Just thought that was really cute, sticking out. And did I do another pocket this way? Pocket, pocket, and that. And then on the back side is uh, some more fabric here on the edge and then a vintage um, cookbook page. Molasses cookies and oatmeal, looks really good. 
And then of course, uh, the little flap. And then on the back is another clear pocket uh, to stow some more. And then this is a book page of um, utensils and things that you cook with. So, so that was it. And I hope you enjoyed um, looking through the uh, favorite recipes for country kitchens altered uh, Betty Crocker cookbook. So I'm going to have this in my Etsy shop and, um, and, uh, hopefully someone, uh, can find a new home for it. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.